You know, Andre, it's not every day that a brand new, all new, exactly heavy duty truck is born. And today we have the pleasure of telling you guys everything that we know about the brand new Chevy heavy duty truck. And there is something, Andre, that is, well, it's not a fist in the face, which was the design language <laughs> of the Silverado. This is a fist to your face. <laughs> To your face? To your face, in your face, because in April, Chevy teased a little image of the front of the truck, right? Right, right. And today, they released the whole thing. So, should we do a drum roll before we show them this picture? I mean, it is quite staggering. But they also showed some information, actual numbers. Yes, but this picture is... Every time somebody walked by the computer and looked at this, they stopped and did a double take. <laughs> So I think we teased it long enough. Okay. Here we go. Let's show them the picture of the brand new 2020 GM Chevy. heavy duty truck. Here we go. Boom. Boom. There you have it, guys. What do you think? And yes. Over the course of this video, we're going to give you all the information. We're going to talk about the things that are up there. Capability, technology, off-road, and of course, at the end, we're going to tell you a surprise about the engine because the engine is a surprise well there are two engine options they are under the hood but they're new yes we're going to leave it to the end yes to tell you exactly what those new engine options are so let's start with what we know uh design so let's go over the images that chevy sent us yes and from the side it's a big version of the silverado the three quarter yeah, it's a big brother but yeah. listen to this chevrolet said that if you compare the half-ton truck to this heavy-duty truck, they only share the roof. Every other body panel is unique, and I think that's good because I want my heavy-duty truck to look different from my half-ton truck. It's not like you're just scaling the half-ton truck to make it bigger. You're actually making it unique with fenders, doors, bedsides, everything. And let's face it, it's quite common, and I'm talking about the competition now, for them to basically keep the same cab right. as the identically the same thing. identically as a half ton right so to actually have a completely unique cab for the heavy duty truck is something that is very new but they did something similar to the half ton they stretched the truck compared to the old one so now we have three inches more legroom kind of like in the half ton silverado but i was actually fortunate enough i was at a private event where they showed basically a full-size, full-scale model of this truck, the 2500. How come I wasn't invited? Uh, well, I was there for Silverado and uh, Bison. <laughs> Kidding. Yes, go ahead, Andre. <laughs> I just felt out of the loop. I'm sorry. <laughs> well, I saw it. You didn't see it. Okay. I, I, I walked up to it, and I'm 6'2", right? Yeah. I'm not a small guy. Yeah. And the, the, the hood was up to here, to my chest. I mean, this is a big truck. Is this the hood or the hood scoop? Everything. And the hood scoop, the hood was all in my face. Um, it, this truck, the, the best way I can describe it, it's probably as big as a Ram Power Wagon. Yeah. You know, how the tall and big it is. Or like an F-250 4x4 crew cab. Yeah, I, I'm going to go with, uh, I'm looking at the design of the truck right there, and I'm going to go with the word square. It's yes. very square. And what's unusual about not just the front end, the fact that you've got these massive square headlights and then this giant bar across that says Chevy, but you also have square fender openings, right? Mm -hmm. Squared off. Which is weird because the half ton, they went <laughs> round and now we're back to the square ones. What's up with that? How are you going to lift that truck and put round wheels in a square hole? Chevy? It, it's unique, dude. It's unique. I, I, I for one, so styling is subjective, right? right? Some yeah. people will hate it. Some people will love it. Let us know what you think, please, in the comments below. But I think... Um, I, I like that it's unique. It's not a s increased in size version of the half ton. Yeah, unique is certainly a good word to describe it. You know, it feels a little bit like a semi truck. So for a long time, basically Ram had this design that was based on a semi truck, right? Where the lights were lower and then the grill was higher. Right. And then in the recent generation of Ram pickups, they went away from that. They made it kind of more elegant. And I kind of feel like looking at the front of this, like. It feels like a Mac or a Peterbilt, right? It has that kind of it's, semi truck feel it's to huge. it. Yeah. And you see the, the blinkers are actually up high. Yes. So the LED signatures are up high. Yep. And in the main section, it's your main headlight. Yes. So the headlight is actually below 
the, bl the blinker. So that's kind of a unique design as, as far as I can, I'm concerned. Yeah, and of course you've got your heavy duty lights on the roof as always to indicate that it's And they're wider. new, they're LEDs. They're a little bit different, yeah. yeah. And then no one will ever mistake this for a Ford or a Ram, <laughs> at least not from the front. <laughs> no. Not even well, Chevrolet, not even Chevy, they went with Chevrolet, interesting. Chevrolet, I've, yeah, you know, Chevrolet. There's a study that's been done that most people associate Chevrolet with Chevy, it's just a thing. Well, Chevy is a shorter way to say it. Yes, so it's but it's a way that most people associate. But sure. there it's full on Chevrolet, so. Well, right. it's, in, it's in line with their other grills. So if you look at the new 2019 Colorado, and also some of the Silverado halftons have the Chevrolet spelled out. So that, that's in the family. But we have to talk about capability. Yes, that's next, capability. Right. So for a long time, Chevy, or Chevrolet, depending on how you like it, uh, basically was about 5,000, give or take, pounds below that of both Ford and Ram in terms of their upper towing number, right? There were right. 26,000 pounds, Ford. No, well, there were 24. 24,000 pounds, Ford and Ram were 30 -ish. Or above. Or above, yeah. yeah. So five or 6,000 pounds below. And then they upgraded the Duramax. Yes. But the number stayed the same. Yes. And we think that's because it takes more than just a bigger engine to make for more towing, right? Well, you need, it's you an need, entire chassis. Yeah, you need right? chassis, braking, there's a yeah. lot to it. So the question is, will the new Chevy Heavy Duty tow 30,000 pounds? Because that seems to be the number, right? 30K is the number where right. the big boys are at. Yeah, for the dually. And the answer is, we don't know. So Chevrolet did not announce specifications as far as payload and towing ability, but they say, and I quote, it will have significant increase in payload and towing. Yeah, they so used, significant. We don't know what that means. They used to say the argument that Chevy, at least in the past, made was that people don't tow thirty thousand pounds. So we give them enough towing capability for what they need, not necessarily for what they don't need. And I think that may be true for like an RV customer or somebody who's towing a camping trailer. But I think for people who are towing for work, like towing a, a giant excavator or a backhoe or something, 30,000 pounds is where you want to be. Yeah, That's I, my opinion. Yeah, I think if Ford's out there with you know, their Super Duty and Rams out there with the Cummins and they're saying best in class and then you've got, you, you, they're, they're towing <laughs> like a 747. It's hard to, to, to make that argument that we're giving you what you need, not what you don't need. W one more thing though, mm -hmm. capability. There's a bedside step. I saw that. Did you see that? I saw the step. And Chevrolet says the bedside step, which is right behind the cab, will help you to reach into the bed when you're towing like a fifth wheel trailer. Mm -hmm. But I think it's helpful anytime. I think st I think they have not it's, just not just one bedside step, but there's one in the back. So right, there's so there's still a bumper one and, yeah, and potentially one the four front. bedside steps. Right, and then a running board. Right, you can yeah. get a running board at the bottom. I and think that's I, great. I think that's great because the trucks are getting taller. Yeah. So any help you have to get into it, I think is good. Have you ever tried stepping on the rear wheel to get in back of your truck? It's, I have. It's I've not, done that before. It's not grand. No. <laughs> the, the angle's wrong. <laughs> <laughs> so that's really helpful. Yeah. That's really helpful. I'm really happy about this. All right. Let's go to technology because we have a new towing mirror. We do. Yeah. So this is the first time we have an official image of the towing mirror. And it's now a single post. If it you, used get, to be if you guys are, are watching this and you're getting excited about towing mirrors, then you're in the right place because that's the kind of stuff that gets <laughs> us excited. Can you tell? <laughs> Can you tell I'm excited? Um, and the towing mirror is vertical. It's mounted. It's going to be... Uh, I'm pretty sure it's going to be like auto foldable and extendable, it has to all be. that That's, jazz. Yeah. It's got marker lights on the out front and it's got LEDs on the back to shine light backwards. And Does it have lasers? Uh, no, no. <laughs> but look at the base of the mirror. It, it looks like what there's a cam camera mount, right? Yeah. So ev like Ford has a 360 degree camera view, right? It's becoming right? pretty ubiquitous Right, now, now the half-ton Chevy does. And now it looks like the heavy duty will do the same. All right. So technology is going to be really important and Chevrolet also said that they're going to have specific apps and features for heavy duty people just for those customers because you know how they had a trailering app yeah right so I think they'll have that but they'll extend it somehow how about the tailgate is it going to be powered uh, there's a button on it there's a button very on it. similar to the half ton yeah right so I think they didn't say if it was going to be powered but I'm guessing because it's the same up hardware. and down you think I, I would say so. Yeah, yeah. T power Maybe not gates. on every model, right? Yeah. Maybe on the higher end, high high country models. I was just at the Aliano show with you, and they had the Rivian, Rivian yes. truck, which is the all electric truck, and they had a really cool feature on top of the uh, bed by the tailgate, where you could actually push a button and the tailgate would open or close. So you could actually control. Oh, with a button. With a button, yeah. yeah. So it'd be like push the button, eh, stop, eh, or you know, push the other way, like a rocker switch. It was really cool and well thought out. It was rubberized. 
somebody was thinking about the way that you know tailgates. Of course, old school guys are probably thinking if you can't close a tailgate, you shouldn't own a truck. <laughs> and part of me is with you guys. Yes, <laughs> yes, for sure. So, but there's no handle on it, and some people miss the handle, you know, sure. or the, the latch. Yes. So. All right, off-road ability. We're looking at the Z71. So this is the off-road heavy-duty truck. It is, and uh, you can immediately see the tires. Yes. This is a Goodyear Wrangler with Kevlar. So these are not dura tracks that you might expect if you you know if you're looking at the power wagon it has a dura track, but this looks to be a 20 inch rim. Mm -hmm. So and I'm really happy. You know how in the past Chevy used to have Square big tires? wheel archers. No no no, 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 no. But the small tires. <laughs> yeah. You know small tires. Yeah. This tire looks to be filling out that space more. Yeah, Chevy for some reason and even in the Trail Boss, it's like a I think what is it a 33 on that one? 32 on the Trail 32 Boss. 32 on the Trail Boss. Yeah, it's just too small. You know, it, this it, to be this looks to be a lot bigger, yeah. like a 34. Yeah, big tires and big wheels are really popular right now. They're not great for fuel economy, but especially on off-road trucks, they just look good. Uh, and small ones now look very silly, right? Because it, it it speaks to the truck's capability. Yeah, I mean, practically a smaller wheel and tire probably give you a better ride, Efficiency, better fuel economy. Yeah. But but. A bigger wheel and tire just makes it look a lot more capable. But especially for an off-road package like yeah. this, you want more clearance, right? What do you think of the wheels? Uh, uh, I kind of like them. Yeah. Do they remind you of anything? Any <sighs> other uh, truck? No. What? Which one are you thinking? I I'm almost thinking like a power wagon. Yeah, it's a little you bit know, of power wagon, like yeah. machined look yeah. with black. A little bit of uh, Jeep in there too. Uh, I like that. I think it's a good looking wheel. Yeah, it is a good looking wheel. Okay, so that's. Do we know anything else about off road ability? Do we know like a lift or? No, we, we don't. don't we don't, don't know the details about it. We can guess. We have prototypes. We saw prototypes. Running a locking around. rear diff, perhaps. We don't know. Well, they have the G80. You know, right. it's a yeah, limited slip, yeah. actuated, but like a diff. real locker with a button. Um, that that you can lock. I don't know that, okay. that yet. Okay. But we're I'm guessing Rancho shocks because they've had them before and the prototypes have them. Mm. I'm guessing skid plates. So, so you, nothing super revolutionary as far as that, those I, components. I would say if you know everybody else is now at Fox Shock. So there's kind of a, a level of shocks, right? There's like the shock you get when you go to your Pep Boys or your Advanced Auto, which is like a base probably made in China shock, right? Sure. Then a little bit above that are probably Ranchos, a little bit above that are Bilsteins. Okay. And then at the top of that food chain, I think, are Fox and probably King. King. Yeah, yeah. those two are, I, let me know if you agree with me, I could be wrong, but let us know in the comments below. And Ford has now set the standard, and in fact, Jeep has with their uh, new uh, Gladiator, well, they're, right? They're, they're, they're both going using, to Fox. They're both, yeah, they're all using Fox. And so I kind of feel like um, a Rancho, now is underdressed. If you yeah, see but what I'm saying. Uh, yes. Everybody else is wearing tuxedos and they kind of showed up, you know, in well, business casual. Well, it's it's just how the ride actually feels and if they be perform, right? But like Fox is probably not the end all solution, right? Like you mentioned King too. I mean there are other options. But that, that's kind of the, the there top are other of the food chain right now. Yeah. So you know, I, I think it might be time. We don't know. So we're just, this is purely speculation. Yes. We don't know at this point. All right. Uh, let's go to what we promised them. Well, the meat. The meat of, well, this, of this Chevy heavy yes. duty sandwich. Yes. <laughs> it's <laughs> what's under the hood. It's what's under the hood. Well, there's a hood scoop. There is. Right? So and it's we, functional, I hope. So, and, they, they, and they have a badge that says Duramax Allison. Yes. So there was a rumor uh, recently that they're closing one of the Allison factories. Mm -hmm. So people were really worried that they're the gonna, Allison going to go away with the Allison, yeah. Right. It's not the case. Allison is here, according to this image and according to the press release. Um, but it's more than that. It's but it's more than that. But wait, 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 wait. I so they, they said two. Uh, yeah, no, 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 not yet. So two new powertrains. Two right. new powertrains. They said an all new gas V8 engine yeah. that's made it to six speed. Yeah. Right? So the Vortec, the six liter, remember in the Hummer, you know, we had the six liter? That's going away. What, what are they going to call it? Is there a name for it yet? No. No, we don't know. And there's no power numbers. There's no power numbers. So, but so there's guys, a new engine. There's a new engine, direct ejected V8. Okay. Okay. That's great. Okay, so that's good. We, we don't know how many liters. No. We don't know how many liters either. So it could be an 8 liter? Are we putting that out there? No, uh, I'm not going to say 8 liters. 7 liter? Nah. No. I think it's probably going the other way. <laughs> Considering they just put a 4 cylinder in the Silverado. Okay. <laughs> it's a V8, okay? We know it's uh, a brand new V8. It's direct injected. Yes. And, and it's made it to a 6 speed. Okay, cool. Okay. But, but, but then, yes. there's a turbo diesel. Right, obviously. Right. Right. So they Dramax. announced the torque. Yeah. 910 foot pound feet of torque, which is the same as it currently the 6.6 .6 liter Duramax V8 currently has. Yes. So I'm assuming the power levels are the same. Yes. 
Okay, but it's made it to this at 10 speed Allison. Wow, so we're going 10 speed now in the heavy duty truck. That's the first heavy duty yeah. truck with a 10 speed. That's well, so Ram currently uses six, Yes. so does Ford. Yeah. This is 10 speeds and I, I would expect like a seven speed Allison, but I did not expect a 10. That's the shocker. You heard it here first, a 10 speed Allison automatic, which bodes well for fuel economy. Right? Yes. Might not bode well for, so for repairs. <laughs> it's a lot of gears to repair. Well, that's a big question, right? But, Everybody but, will say how reliable it's going to be, exactly. and we don't know yet. But the 10 speed is certainly a good start when it comes to getting efficiency and getting better fuel economy. And let's face it, heavy duty trucks are about fuel economy. These are work tools that people use and drive a lot. Yeah. I, I In fact, I put a poll on our website. Yes. What's the most important to you in heavy duty trucks? And the fuel efficiency was number one. Wow. All right. And then we do a bonus. Yes, but before we get to a bonus, uh, another bonus. Just full of bonuses today. <laughs> <laughs> and another bonus. Yeah. This truck is going to be available mid next year, 2019. Yeah. So figure what summer? As a 2020. As a 2020. Okay. Figure summer. So about seven months from now, give and take. So that's sooner than I was originally expecting. So yeah. that's good. And it's built in Flint, Michigan. Oh, American. That's good, right? Yeah, yeah. Uh, bonus. Next year is going to be the year of the heavy duty truck. That's right. We're right. going to have a new Ram? Because the Ram is coming out in Detroit. Ford is promising an update to their Super Duty. So next year is going to be super exciting. And by the way, guys, we did catch the new 2020, we think, Ram Power Wagon. Uh, we'll do a link to the video in the very first comment. So if you want to see what that looks like, uh, click below because it's certainly an interesting um look design design from this truck. Yes. Once again, I think we have to go back to that first image where you see it from the front. Look at that. Boom. Boom. Pow. Right okay. in the nose, man. That is right in the nose, Andre. <laughs> you right will, in the kisser. You, if you see that thing in your rearview mirror, you will not mistake it for anything else. And I really want to know, I think we both do, like, what do you think of that design? You know, it's, yeah. it's at first, well, I'll, no, let me not go there. You guys, let me know what you think. Tell us. Yeah, yeah tell please. us. As always, this is Roman. And Andre. Saying thanks for watching. And remember, you saw it first. On the Fast Lane Truck. And check out tfltruck.com where he works every freaking day to get you the latest news. You know, a lot of people say, send us emails asking us about, you know, what's coming up here, what's coming up there. It's all on the website. It's and all it's, there. it's real time. We're not sitting on information. No, no the second we know it. Yes. Dude, you were working Saturday night on that Ram story. I Saturday was. night. And so were you. Yeah, Saturday night. Yes. Thank you. Ciao.